he was uh he had a round table called the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community. Yeah, yeah. Which is and um and 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 it, and it was they was just talking about boxing and stuff like that and and having round tables and stuff with different people and things like that. But the racism got super bad during the Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao situation. Yeah, yeah. It got like when you leave a comment on the internet, people putting bananas and monkey faces behind yeah. you and all kind. It was bad. Wow. You know, you can't if you said you like the black fighter, they was putting all kind of racial racial innuendos or racist comments or behind you. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. The boxing was uh how I got into it was uh like like I told y'all, I was telling y'all about my, my partner Greg. And right. so I wanted to when I when I came home, one of the things that was on my mind is that there is not there was not a lot of representation for the South period. Mm-hmm. Not just Texas, Texas, but the South period. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, man, I wanna make sure that these dudes is getting seen. And then I fit, found out about YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I seen that YouTube was kind of innovative as That's far hard. as boxing. Mm-hmm. And this is years ago. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh and so uh and so I wound up uh, 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 just following the YouTube channels, and I cre- just went on there and was watching and stuff like that. But, man, when I got on there, the racism was so man. hard because in boxing, it's so much tribalism. Yeah. You know, and like I said, it, it, everybody's segregated. You know, you have... You know, it ain't just no Latino thing. It's like the Mexicans support Mexicans, the Dominicans support Dominican, mm-hmm. the 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 Asians support the, not even Asian, the Filipinos support Filipinos, mm-hmm. the Japanese support. It's it's Split. extreme tribalism in boxing, and so one of the things that I I seen when I was trying to build this thing up as far as for the South, it was there was a lot of black fans, but there was no black cohesion. Man, that's hard. It I was like no it. black cohesion. And so it was a it was a dude on the internet at the time, and his name is Seven A Sports TV. Okay, and Seven A Sports TV, is, which is my co-host on Trill Boxing yeah, Talk. Yeah, now. correct. I seen um, him. He was uh, he had a round table called the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community. Yeah, yeah. Which is and um and 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 it, and it was they was just talking about boxing and stuff like that and and having round tables and stuff with different people and things like that but the racism got super bad during the Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao situation yeah yeah it got like when you leave a comment on the internet, people putting bananas and monkey faces behind yeah. you and all kind. It was bad. Wow. You know, you can't if you said you like the black fighter, they was putting all kind of racial racial innuendos or racist comments and behind you. And so one of, at the time it was a black content creator that did boxing as well. And um he had a big it was he had a big platform. Mm-hmm. And so um and, and but I, he wasn't in the south. He was somewhere. Else. Yeah, he was somewhere else. But he, he, but he, a lot of people know him. Okay. And so some, some one of the races left a comment on my uh, behind my post on one of his things about me possibly liking Gary Russell Jr. or Damn. Floyd Mayweather or something. And I let the races have it. But on YouTube, a lot of these dudes just want people to follow them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just want people to subscribe to them and stuff like that. And so he kind of, I ain't gonna say he gorilla check me but he kind of like hey man you know don't worry about them saying all this stuff you know you shouldn't he didn't say nothing to the races he said something to me and so black fight fan was because and a lot of these dudes they in boxing especially black dudes they want fairness they want to promote unbiasedness but racist people a lot of these not other they ain't gonna even say racist people all these non-black people, mm-hmm. they don't give a damn about being fair, biased, or not. But uh, Canelo will get on there and say, I'm picking him because he's the Mexican. Right. You know, I'm picking uh, Manny Pacquiao. i say, I'm picking him because he's Filipino. For, they're for their they're race. They're for un, unapologetic. Right. They're for their race. The only people but that... But you have black folks who was for their race, too. But that wasn't like that back then. Okay. Black people just got just woke up when George Floyd died. Mm-hmm. Black people just woke up when, when, when Dr. Umar came out, you know, talking this stuff. Black people have been asleep. Uh, so back then there was a they was doing what they do majority mm-hmm. oh man you know we we fair we ain't on that you know all right. that old type of stuff and so that enraged me so much that black fight fan was born mm. it wasn't about no money it wasn't about like you know it wasn't about it wasn't about no money it wasn't about no YouTube it wasn't about nothing it was just 
I'm going to create a black place for black fight fans mm-hmm. to come together and, and, and don't be have to deal with all of and that. And don't have to deal with none of that stuff. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.